Hi, welcome to our third tutorial on finding the weighted average cost of capital. In our previous tutorials, we looked at Southwest Airlines and we learned that they pay an average rate of 4.26% on debt. They have a tax rate of 38.54% and debt makes up 24.51% of the money that's supplied from external sources. We also learned that their cost of equity, or the rate of return that shareholders require, is 6.93%, and that the weight of equity, or the percentage of owner-supplied financing in their capital structure, is 75.49%. We're going to use this information to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to plug in some numbers. Weight of equity, we already calculated it, 75.49%. The cost of equity, we already calculated it at 6.93%. The weight of debt, already calculated, 24.51. My cost of interest, or my interest rate, my rate of debt, 4.26. Tax rate, 38.54. Okay. We use that to calculate our weighted average cost of capital. So our weighted average cost of capital is going to be the required rate of return that we have as a company in order to provide our investors with the rate of return that they need. So 75% of our funds are coming from shareholders, and those shareholders are going to have a required return based on our calculations of 6.93%. So 75% of our required return is going to be it's going to be because our shareholders have a 6.93% return. And then 24.5% of our equity, or I'm sorry, of our outside funds comes from lenders, and they have a 4.26% required return. However, because interest payments are deductible for tax purposes, the rate of return that we're going to have to earn on investments in order to satisfy our investors is actually going to be a little bit lower. So we're going to be able to multiply that by 1 minus the tax rate in order to figure out what our effective interest rate contributes to our overall cost of capital. So by plugging in that formula, we have an overall weighted average cost of capital that's equal to 5.87%, which is going to be less than our cost of equity and greater than our cost of debt, and that looks fine. So if you have any more questions about calculating the weighted average cost of capital or finding the value of equity or figuring out the interest cost or the tax rate, please post to the discussion board. Happy calculating!